and welcome back. Yeah, a little computer glitch there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hey, well, you won't have to see it. I just won't use it. Okay, so what happened is, is anyway, um, what I'm going to show you is this is the x-ray of the Mi Dion. The Mi Dion is the older Mona Lisa. This is the younger Mona Lisa. Okay, so this is the x-ray which I pulled out of my painting. It is a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. It is the older Mona Lisa. This is a younger Mona Lisa in her teens. This is one of the images in which I pulled out microscopically, hidden in his uh, works, that, uh, that represents the uh, bird. Also represents, when you turn it, it's a boy flying that's on the bird, a part of his wing. And it is also represents the skull when it's in it, and it represents many, many other things, plus an angel, etc. And uh, actually, the Mona Lisa, along with his lover, looking side by side. It is a trick of his codes and his art. And that's what I want to give you a little taste of. So, what the taste of, I want to show you that this is. Um, of the Mona Lisa's arm that's coming down with the ruffle. And to prove that, let me just show you real quick to prove that, that I just screwed up a little bit for you, is right here, as you can see, this sleeve has that um, angle of the L that can starts off the word love and Leonardo, and his sleeve and him see at the hand how it curves and goes and around. So when you end up with that particular image and you go to um, back to the image in which we're talking about, you can see the sleeve. The rest of the hand is hidden that's in a different layer of chemicals. Leonardo da Vinci is a very, very tricky guy. If you follow my YouTubes, you'll find over 700 YouTubes now. And out of those 700 YouTubes, you'll find um, about 2,700 exact images which get into hidden little works that he has hidden within the Mona Lisa that he has hidden within the other Mona Lisa which is the older Mona Lisa. Now you can't call them little sister big sister because they're one of the same. Um, it is um, a stylist of Leonardo da Vinci's works and for example if you take a look at the uh, Mona Lisa off on the left side you'll see this big C and a backwards five. Here is the backwards five or backwards S hidden underneath the five that aims the other way. It is in one of my YouTubes that you would see. You'll also see that there's a individual floating in here but out of that you can even see that the beginning of love written here. This is a sideways L, that's an O, and this is a V this way and his E is here. Here's his E. Okay, L-O-V-E. And that's the way Leonardo da Vinci does his works. Now, if you see that, then what you can do is you know that looks as a A and it has a man. A lot of times his A has a man in it. There's a man in the center. But normally it is not only there. If it's really tiny, sometimes it's up, up top above it to let you know that it stands for an N or a, uh, a man or an A. But since an an A is in there, it can spell out Francisca or it can spell out Sali or, uh, or both. And as you see how this L is turned this way, it's not only that, it's like the J that's in the heart underneath by the feet in the sand of my painting. But out of that particular, this also represents an S. So you have an S and then you have an A here, but you also have an A here. So there's probably another S in here. That's the way Leo is. So if there's an A here, he probably has an S burning in here. And, and then so you got an S, A, and then he has a L here. You can see the L. And then you have a little A right here for sure. And then you have a little I. So that's Sali, the man who lived with him to 1518, and he so happens to be one of his lovers. So a little taste of Leonardo da Vinci's works is, is, is here for you to understand. I've gone way beyond what I needed to for you to understand uh, that you need to follow my YouTubes. I have um, a need for you to hit the subscribe, the notification, and a thumbs up. And I would also like is if you guys can wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your social distances, Tell your brother and your friends and so uh, co-workers and teachers and 
and um, uh, mothers and fathers again and uh, see if you can uh, help me out I'm looking for some financial support obviously uh, I would love to uh, go buy a villa okay and then with your help I think I can do that okay and what I got to say is amen God bless the whole world universe and the heavens in Jesus name amen